to Naya Reads and Smiles. Hello! I feel like I always say I, I'm finally doing something. It feels like in my life I'm, I'm always finally doing something after procrastinating. But I am here. My bookshelf is here. My camera is here. If I had a cat, it would be here too. But I don't because I'm not allowed to have pets in this apartment. But anyways, today I am doing my bookshelf tour. I love watching bookshelf tours. I love filming bookshelf tours. I love doing bookshelf tours. I don't like editing bookshelf tours because they take a long time. Today, I am finally here to share with you guys my updated bookshelf tour. I only have one shelf. Um, this, I wish that I had two of those shelves. If you can just tell from this far, they're all crammed on there. I also have like this little plastic, I don't even know what this thing is, this little plastic sad thing I got at Walmart for like three bucks, but it holds books too. So, you know, I'm not, as long as it gets the job done. Some books here, books there, I have two giant stacks on the sides of my shelves. No way would I classify my bookshelf as neat and organized. I wouldn't even describe my life as neat and organized. But you know what they say, it's the journey, not the destination. <laughs> I don't even know what that, what that quote has to do with this whole situation, but it's a good quote. Like I said, my bookshelf is in no particular order. Um, I do have some unread books at the top and the bottom and also on this little shelf over here, but besides that, there really is no organization. What, what is neat? What is, what is organized? I don't know these words. Hello, I'm back. All right, you guys, I am currently standing on a chair and my life is at risk, so I'm gonna quickly do this. These are all unread books on the very top of my shelf. I don't think this is safe exactly to have this many books on this shelf. It definitely exceeds the weight limit, but you know what? We are risk takers. But anyways, okay, so the first book I have up here is The Diviners by Libba Bray. And then I have a Nicholas Sparks book, which actually isn't even mine. Kane's Blood, Project Kane. Oh my God, like these books, I feel like I've had forever on here. I have this. Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, and I feel like I've had, like, I want to read this book so bad, you guys. Mortal Danger, Geek Girl, Tempest, The Start of Me and You, Trial by Fire, The Queen of Zombie Hearts, which I have not finished yet, um, Conversion, I'll Meet You There, The Bone Season, Aqua, Pushing the Limits, My Life Next Door, um, a Hyperbole and a Half, which I read, I like, I kind of like go back and like read through it. I haven't really read it in order. Um, does that really count? I don't, I don't think so. The Brilliant Light of Amber Sunshine, Amber Sunshine, yes, Sunrise, Sunrise. One of the two, okay, there's sunshine involved. And then I have Love Letters to the Dead and The Walls Around Us. Pull out these books, but like I said, I'm literally standing on a swivel chair and pulling them out could possibly kill me, so I'm just gonna avoid doing that. Now, we we are on to my top shelf. Ah, I just, do you guys, do you guys like to do this? This is like my favorite thing to do. Um, there's some like weird fetishy joy that just comes from rubbing my hands on these books. Okay, I'm just so weird today. First series that I have here is The Raven Cycle. It's blue Lily Lily Blue and then The Raven King and, sorry, The Raven King. This, this last one here just brings back so many memories, but okay, I'm gonna quickly put this back. On top of here, I have of An Ember in the Ashes and Illuminae, amazing books. That's why they are on the top shelf. Highly recommend them. And then I just have, sorry, I just have my Japanese books up here. These kind of move around my room because I don't really have anywhere to put them, but uh, I just usually leave them up here. So you can stay right there. This top shelf has pretty much stayed the same since my previous book shelf tour, but I have the entire Shadow Me series. Oh. Then I have the Fifth Wave series by Rick Yancey. So beautiful, oh my god. For anybody who hasn't read the series, please read it. The second book is my favorite, so, you know, just just, just read it. As you can see, this next book here I've thoroughly annotated, and it's Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, Creative Living Beyond Fear. This book is amazing, It like it's life-changing, so you should read this one too. Then I have... <sighs> It just, it just, it brings back so many memories. I'm just gonna pull this out all slow and dramatic like. But I have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. As you can see, this book has been thoroughly loved. Um, I don't know how else to describe it, okay? This, this book just brought me a lot of feels and I'm just gonna put it back now. I am saving a space for over here for when I get the second book. I have read it already, but I read it in ebook form. So when I have the physical copy, it shall go here. I have the whole Throne of Glass series and I have the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series, um, The House of Hades. But going down, 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 down. The 
second shelf. Ha! Huh? I think this is like the only neat shelf. I have the entire da -da 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 -da, throne of glass. We're well, not throne of glass. Oh my god, I'm going nuts. I have the entire Mortal Instrument series. So I have City of Bones, um, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and the beautiful City of Heavenly Fire. I think this is like the biggest book on my shelf. I have the Lunar Chronicles over here, as you guys can see. Oh, I swear I could just stare at the series all day. It's it's so gorgeous, but we're gonna neatly put them back. Ink and Burned by Ellen Hopkins are amazing and fantastic and they made me cry. Oh, just I'm, I'm just gonna put these back. All these books are bringing back feels. I have the entire Harry Potter series, which I'm sure you guys have seen millions of times, so I'm just gonna skip over pulling all those ones out. Now it starts to get a little hectic. We're on my third shelf here. Of, um, the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. The entire Darkest Mind series. And sadly, I've only read up to um, halfway through the last book, so I wanna go back and finish this. I have the entire Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. The entire Divergent series and um, the entire Lux series. These two, are, these two are both bind ups. And then I have my little Hunger Games book over here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Catching Fire and Mocking Jay. Sadly, I don't have the first book in hardcover, but you know what? That's all right. The entire Forest of Hands and Teeth series by Carrie Ryan, one of the most amazing zombie series ever. If you have not read it, please read it, you guys. I actually got to finally meet Carrie Ryan, and this is a signed copy. Where is it? Where is it? Um, yeah, I actually, the first book I actually got signed, and it was like one of the most amazing moments of my life when I finally got to meet the author of this amazing series. I have not read this series yet, but my sister has. It is the Anne and the French Kiss series. And at the bottom over here, I have the first two books in um, the Defy series by Sarah B. Larson, another great fantasy series. Um, this is Defy and this is Ignite. I Look, I'm like totally putting all these books back in the wrong order. Oh, we are on the fourth shelf and I'm just not even gonna attempt to pull this all out because it literally took me forever to fit it all in there. But um, real quick, Okay, so what I usually do is um, these books here are books that I'm currently reading or plan on reading. So I have furthermore by Tahara Mondi. Okay, this is amazing. I'm halfway through it and it's beautiful, but okay, we'll, we'll get to that in another video. I have Kids of Deception series by Mary E. Pearson down here. And then I also have two books that recently came in the mail. Dark Horse by Cecilia Von Zegger, the author of Gossip Girl. And I have Empire of Stars. Oh my God. I'm so, I just have so many good books to read. Um, but yes, they're staying here temporarily. I will say though that these are mainly paperback books, um, mass market paperback books, um, pretty pretty small books also. Um, there's You by Caroline Kepnes, amazingness. Basically all the same books that were on um, my shelf in my previous bookshelf store. I had a shelf just like this that was ridiculously messy. Um, and yeah, but this is that shelf, da, 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 da. and now we're going to go to the bottom shelf down here. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Now we're on the bottom shelf, and um, right over here up front, I have books that I've already read. Um, they just don't have a place, so I'm just gonna leave them on the ground over here at the moment. Um, but okay, so all of these books I have not read yet, so please, no spoilers if you have read them. I'm gonna try and quickly go through them. Okay, so we have Starters by Lisa Price, Half Bad by Sally Green, which I plan on buddy reading with a friend. Um, I have The Ward. I have the first two books in the Falling Kingdom series. Soundless by Michelle Mead, The Raft, What We Saw, um, Until Friday Until Friday Night, Until Friday Lights, some, one of those two. <laughs> Glass Arrow, Immaculate, I have two or three Sarah Dessen books up there. The Bronze Horseman, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Oh my gosh, I also have, oh, I want to read this one so bad, but Between the Pages, um, or Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult, Hexed, uh, uh, dark, The Darkest Part of the Forest, The Young Elites, A Thousand Pieces of You, Tiger Lily, um, Beautiful Disaster. I also have Night School, Six of Crows. There's Outlander, which, oh my God, I've been TBRing that since like last Christmas. <laughs> Armada, Room, um, Night Film. Um, so yes, these are the books that I have down here. The entire shelf. Ah, da, 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 da. It is definitely very packed, um, but all right. So now 
We're gonna come over here to the side. Right here um, is a picture. Oh, I love this so much. It just reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, but it's like an art picture that um, I got at Comic Con. And then I just have a bunch of books that I've both read and have not read. So I'm gonna go just down this giant pile here. Kill a Mockingjay, Tandem, um, Robert Frost Collected Poetry, G uh, Greek Philosophy, Shadows and Stars, Since You've Been Gone, Pulse. Um, Maidens of Secret, The Lion, the Witch, and the Ro the Wardrobe kind of tucked here. Every Day by David Levithan, Unravel. I have the whole series in this one. It's kind of mixed in here. Um, Why We Broke Up, The Last Summer of Us, The Book of Ivy, Glass Castle, Easy, Disarm, Sweet Madness, the entire, um, what is this? The, the entire Evermore series, I believe it's called, or the Immortal series, um, which I still want to just like, uh, pow what's not power read? Marathon read that series. Yes, and oh, the last book in Susan E's um, Angel Fall series, which I have to read. Dangerous Girls there at the bottom holding the whole stack together. I don't even, okay, I'm gonna have to like crawl under my my table, my little Ikea table for this. I have a ton of more books over here. Those top threes, um, those top three books over here are actually my friend Sarah's that I have to give to her. That's why they're the same as the ones that were up there on that shelf. Um, but yes, there's a bunch of books, some little kid books, and yeah, just more books. <laughs> and then lastly over here, um, words brought us together, but lastly over here, I just have my pile of my books that I um, that are either ARCs or the books that I've recently acquired that I just really wanna read. It is so hard for me to decide which book to read next with all these books here because I just want to read all of them. Um, but I have Heartless by Marissa Meyer, um, This Savage Song by V.E. Swab, The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia of Gemini, which I'm so excited to read you guys. I still have Lady Midnight. I have not read it yet. And like I said, I just got Empire of Storm. So struggle is... It's so hard, I wish I could read all the books at once. Um, I have Everything Breaks, Immortal City, Flawed, which I just finished and it was amazing. Um, the Dragon's Blade, the Dragon's Blade, Nemesis. I believe this this was an arc, but I, the book may have come out already. Um, and then I have Finding Lon London, Between the Spark and the Burn, The Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders, and The Silver Witch down there. Right over here I have P.S. I Like You. Um, I have Rebel of the Sands, which has been so hyped and I wanna read so bad. And then I have another copy of Kiss of Deception um, down here. This is a hardback. This is a hardback copy. It's this ugly plastic thing I was talking about. But you know what? I I, I love you, plastic thing. You you hold uh, miscellaneous crap. So <laughs> that is my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys like it. Um, there probably will be an updated one in the future. Um, again, I'm hoping to get like one more like bookshelf, maybe like a small one right over here, just so that I don't have all those books everywhere on the floor. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!